all you bright and beautiful freedom lovers out there. My name's Jeff Einstein coming to you directly from sunny Delray Beach, Florida. And as you can likely surmise, I'm easily amused. So my wife, my, uh, my wife, don't tell me this, I know this. My wife, my brother, my daughter, my cat, my wife, Barbara. I told you I knew this. My wife, Barbara, thinks I'm having problems with my memory. So she runs out and buys me a memory foam pillow. I sleep great, but I can't remember a damn thing the next morning. In the updated glossary of woke terms, I'm Jeff Einstein 2.0. I define cultural appropriation as unauthorized flattery. Accordingly, my short list of people who would never be invited to the Beijing Olympics, or any other Asian Olympics for that matter, begins with my favorite, the incomparable Peter Sellers as Inspector Jacques Clouseau. Get home, my little yellow friend, I'm home. Never got invited. Next up, Mickey Rooney as Mr. Yonioshi from Breakfast at Tiffany's. Nope, never invited. Next, check out John Belushi as Samurai Hitman on Saturday Night Live. This is the button man we have hired for the job. Where are you from? Detroit! Detroit, huh? Do you believe it? No invites for John Belushi. Let's try another John, this time comedian John Panette. So I went to this Chinese all-you-can-eat buffet and while the owner, he got pissed. I mean, he was rude though, he'd come out every hour. Son of a bitch still here! <laughs> Big no-no in Beijing, Mr. Panette. How about NBA player Innes Cantor Freedom? My problem is with the Chinese Communist Party, so people need to understand that. Nope. The guys and gals who issue the invites to Beijing hate freedom. Finally, we have Far East expert Gordon Chang. Well, the United States is a party to the uh, Genocide Convention of 1948, which requires the United States to prevent and to punish acts of genocide. And China is committing acts of genocide as defined in the convention. Don't be waiting on that invite, Gordon. That's it for my end, good folks. Hit that subscribe button if you can find one. And be sure to share this video with two or three hundred of your closest friends. Until next time, remember... Skepticism is our first civil obligation in a free society. Thanks for watching and God love to you.